Hey, Orphan Court, good evening. That's right, less than 24 hours to go before Super Bowl 56 kicks off here at SoFi Stadium, and you could feel the excitement. Now, this will be the largest event that the city of Inglewood puts on, so of course, there are concerns, traffic concerns. Things are quiet right now, but as you know, this is the calm before the storm. Ready or not, the big game is almost here, and traffic has picked up around Inglewood. There are multiple traffic signs around the massive SoFi Stadium complex warning of street closures. It's been very hectic. I mean, we've had a lot of traffic. Now it's going to be lit today. <laughs> it started today. Lupe Gomez and her family are getting around on bikes, avoiding the vehicle traffic. Yes, it's the biggest game of the year, but since we already know that you know traffic, we have our bikes now and we're walking. City officials believe it's the limited on-site parking that will actually lower the volume of traffic than a typical event at SoFi. That's because many ticket holders will be traveling to the venue via shuttles. Private lots are charging a high amount of money for a parking space, some as high as 4000 bucks. The Department of Homeland Security is issuing an alert for a potential convoy of truckers heading to the Super Bowl protesting COVID-19 masks and vaccine mandates. It's supposed to be similar to the truckers' protests in Canada, where hundreds of protesters have blocked roads. A memo from Homeland Security says there's no threat of violence for Sunday, but advises people to be prepared for major disruptions to traffic. I think we'll be able to walk from our yeah. hotel, so yeah, hopefully it won't be survive. too bad. For these Bengals fans visiting from Ohio, they're just hoping for a win. Yeah, we're just excited for the game. No, no, no concerns about being around here. People have been great. Uh, we, we got in on Friday, and people around here have been really nice. Their Super Bowl tickets cost 7000 a pop. Now, there are still tickets available. Resale prices have dropped, but they will still cost you thousands. Some say it's worth it just for the halftime show. Five of hip hop's biggest names will be sharing the stage, including Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. It's the first time in Super Bowl history that hip hop artists will be the main act. And I still got love for the streets. It's the DRA. Yes, I'm pumped. We're pumped. <laughs> Yup, it's set to be an incredible halftime show, so if you have tickets, well, lucky you, but again, you do want to give yourself plenty of time to get to SoFi Stadium. Reporting live tonight in Inglewood, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.